World of MMA here with Rich Franklin. Rich, how you doing today? Doing real well, man. We just came from weigh-ins here and uh, saw the Cerrone Diaz. Uh, they had a little fiasco yesterday at the press conference, and then the uh, the Lesnar Overeem fight looks like it's going to be exciting. Now you're not fighting this weekend, but uh, what do you what do you got going on for this uh, fight card? Well, the the UFC they're they're expanding. Everybody knows they're doing the shows on Fox and Fuel and FX and all that kind of stuff. So they're adding some positions as like analysts and commentators and all that kind of stuff. So I'm out here this weekend to work with John Anik at the fight. Uh, I'll basically be calling the fights, but it's not going to be televised. Uh, the first time they uh, presented this idea to you, what were your feelings about this whole thing? Um, I I wasn't sure because I know like I've talked to, to Mike before about the analysts and the commentating and all that, and and I know what kind of prep actually goes into this stuff and it's a lot like i went back and i watched the previous fights of all the fighters and and all that kind of stuff so it's, there's a lot going into reading the bios and everything and uh i just knew that when they said something to me about it there's going to be a lot of work uh get an update from you you know do they have a fight set for you you know what are they what are they looking for you to do in 2012 yeah i had shoulder surgery um in october of this year just uh, a little over 10 weeks ago and i'm way ahead of the curve on healing but uh, i'm still not back to training yet so i'll I'm hoping I'll be grappling maybe uh, late January, early February, doing some bag work and stuff like that, and then we'll see. I think if, if I'm actually training by that time, I'll be able to. Uh, I'll be able to. Wow, he just walked through the video. That was pretty cool. I think if, if I'm training by that time, I'll be able to return by June. But as far as who I'd be fighting, it's you know, we won't even talk about that till we get closer to the date. Now we see on your Twitter, you're very interactive with your fans. You like to give updates. You know, how does that? How's that just been a positive for you to in the rehab process? That you know, maybe you know, you you put on there. You know, I'm I'm playing with the tennis ball today, or I'm working with this. I got a 25 pound dumbbell. I mean, what kind of positive feedback are you getting from the fans? It's it's great, man. I'll tell you what, man. I, I, I use my Twitter. I, I I get really confused about what to tweet out. Uh, I tweeted out a couple things while I was here at the weigh-ins. Um, I, I, Put on my Twitter. I hope they reinforce the cage because it's, those guys are huge. Um, but it, a lot of what I do on my Twitter is just going back and forth with the fans, and and I like doing the fan interaction because then it makes the Twitter experience for them very genuine, and I just don't get a bunch of followers who really could care less who I am. And I think that it, with my, my Twitter fans, I have a good Twitter family, so to speak. Um, but you know, the fan support has been great, man. Like. Ace, you're, you're, I've had plenty of people that have had shoulder surgery that have texted me back and said, hey, man, you're way ahead of the curve. You're doing really good. We can't wait to see you back in the cage in 2012. So just really good support. And there are days where you get frustrated. I'm not able to train the way that I want to. And I'm like, man, I just want to, you know, I want to. But I think the other day I was I tweeted out something um, joking. I said, I haven't punched anybody in the face since August or whatever. And, uh, and you know, I had some jokes and some, some stuff like that. But it's just stuff like that when you're a little frustrated about things and I make a joke about it. You just get some good, good support sometimes when you're going back and forth with fans. For this weekend, uh, how do you see, we'll go with the, main, the co-main event, uh, Nate Diaz, Cowboy Cerrone, and then Brock Lesnar and Overeem. But first, uh, Diaz and Cerrone. God, you know, I don't, I, I'll tell you what, I don't know. Um, it's interesting. The, they're Although Cerrone kicks a lot more than Diaz, their stand-up style is very similar, and they're both really long fighters, uh, and they utilize their reach really well. So it's going to be interesting. And when you look at these two guys, they have – most of their wins have, have come via submission. But really, like, when you watch their fighting style, those submissions are set up because they just flow from their stand-up down to the ground, and they've done so much damage on their feet by the time that they get there that when, when you look at their win percentages and all that kind of stuff, they're really not accredited for, for their stand-up skills the way that the way that they should be. Uh, it's I'll tell you, I, I, I like the fact that Cerrone is, is a little more – uh, diverse with his tool bag, throws the kicks and all that kind of stuff. But man, the Diaz brothers with their boxing, they're just they're they're like those guys that just don't go away, and uh, that's what's going to make that fight tough for him. And Lesnar Overeem. I'll say this much: if I was a gambling man, I would take the odds on Brock and and put my money there. I, uh, I before before I watched their last two fights, I was dead set on Overeem winning that fight, and then since I've had a chance to. Yeah, because you could go back behind the camera, but I wouldn't do that either. But uh, but since uh, I mean, really, but you probably didn't even catch her. Did she, was she even in frame? I mean, was she tall enough to make frame? I, she was like four foot two, and Oompa Loompa just walked through. She even has a green jacket on. I'm serious. What were we talking about? Uh, we're talking about Lesnar Overeem, um, and that you had at the beginning. Oh, you had Overeem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but then I watched their last two fights, man, and I'll tell you, like. Um, Overeem, he you know he really grits down, and uh, 
And, it, you know, if he, I, I don't know if he's going to fight the same way again, but if, if he does, if I was in Brock's corner, I'd be saying, like, you know, if, if he stands in the pocket and looks for just that one big knockout punch, he does, Brock doesn't have to worry about those combinations coming in, although, you know, Overeem's a big kicker and all that kind of stuff. So it, it'll be interesting. Brock's had a big layoff. I don't know how that's going to affect him and where his cardio is going to be, and I think that's going to be a big factor for the two of these guys. So uh, it depends on what kind of shape Brock comes in for this fight, but this is definitely a winnable fight for him. And I think a lot of people have discounted him in that, that manner. And one more question. Um, 2012 looks like a big year for the UFC. They just announced a deal with Metro PCS. They're going on every facet of, of broadcasting. I mean, how does it feel to be a part of the organization right now? It's cool. It, you, you know, I've been here... I've been basically like one of those pillars that's helped build this thing since uh, since Zufa took over. And so I've seen this. I, today, literally walked in the office, and as I walked in to get my credential for the weigh-ins, I literally walked in, and I, it, was, it looked like this. I was like, mm, and then I didn't know anybody, and I was waiting for somebody to be like, Reg. And nobody was, everybody was like, they just looked at me like, can we help you? And I was like, crap, I don't know anybody in this office, and I've been here forever. So it's, 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 it's a weird feeling, but at the same time, it's really cool to see the opportunities that are starting to unfold with uh, some of the corporate sponsorships, the, you know, the analysts, just the way things are opening up for the company and, and it, you know, the way they're spreading and becoming more mainstream, really, really cool. So it's, it, it's, it's been a great experience seeing the way that it's come from, you know, doing, I think when I, I did UFC 42, and maybe the year that I did that, they did – eight shows that year and now next year they're doing like 40 or something so it's it's just it's a big difference and it's a totally different atmosphere and it's it's been a it's been a, been a fun fun road a fun travel you know all right this is world of mma with rich franklin thanks a lot rich